Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So let's look at how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading or check out those memberships, that information is below as well. All right, immediate future for Aquarius, please. Yeah, okay. I thought it was going to pop out. There it is. We got the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups. Wow. Somebody is nervous. Nervous. And then we have regret. I want one for that outcome. It's to me popped out and I want to be certain. Because in the middle of it all, somebody could just be feeling really guilty. You got to clarify and see the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So, I mean, if this is a wrong career in finances, it kind of looks like it's taken off. You have two eights at eight, you know, that represents some type of change, some type of movement, actually. And for the outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you are working towards something. You are building and it looks like you've already kind of started. There's been some type of progress that's been made. There's still more to make. But we start with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. This is a lot of worry, a lot of fear, or it could, you know, embarrassment. Show me this Eight of Swords. Why is someone so nervous? The Six of Pentacles. All right. Um, if this is coming in as like a feelings reading, because I see the Two of Cups here at the bottom, right? Um, so there could be a situation where, I mean, this this is going to end up opening up into more than it appears right now. You kind of have the grass was in greener energy. Somebody caught, felt or was caught in the middle, could have been like given the two sides. Um, and so with the Six of Pentacles, right, you see there's like this person in the middle. The scales are here. There's two people on, on both sides. So when... When one side is being given to the other side, feels left out. This is a wrong relationships, and that may have caused um, some type of kind of massive change there with the world. And with that world, that change in that Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the uh, Eight of Swords, sometimes we get nervous about change. Um, but this is kind of strong grass was in greener energy. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy for some. It could have been a merry man. But the Five of Pentacles, what happens when that one side, like I said, kind of feels left out. It abandons the other side. So somebody could have ghosted or just really neglected the situation. For others, this is somebody um, around finances. It would be more so there's just a big change coming. Somebody could have had some type of financial loss or like they're not making that money. That flow is there. But around relationships is something that wasn't like equal give and take. And it ended up leaving one side feeling left out. Show me this five of cups. So depending on how this is resonating with you, if it's around money, um, then there could just be like embarrassment there or, you know, somebody feeling bad. Maybe they didn't, they didn't follow through the 10 of cups, the ace of pentacles. So there is an opportunity that's coming. It kind of feels like maybe show me that ace of pentacles to make things right because a wrong relationship, somebody didn't choose the right side or, or not the, not, not the right side because I'm not the one to make that call. but it's kind of like regretting the side that they chose, <clears throat> the route that they chose. And this could be somebody who's like an entrepreneur and just like works a lot or is like in a leadership position and 
you know, show me this Ace of Pentacles. But sometimes that King of Wands can just have a lot of other shit going on. Uh, show me that Ace of Pentacles. What is this opportunity? Damn. The Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night of the deck. But when that knight gets there, there's a solid offer. And that's what this Ace of Pentacles is. Somebody wants an opportunity to move forward, to kind of leave the past behind. It looks like to try again, basically. Around work and finances, somebody could just be really, like, there's an opportunity there. But somebody is really tired. Make sure that you don't overdo it. Because some may just do it, like, out of feeling guilty around it. But around relationships, there's an opportunity to kind of move past something that happened. And it's probably in relation to this Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Show me this Eight of Pentacles for the outcome for Aquarius, please. The Justice card. Libra energy. I mean, that's that's the honest effort being made. The Sun, Leo energy, the happiest card in the deck. The Six of Cups. Somebody's coming back around and they're actually making an effort now. To bring that balance back to things. Remember, like I said, with the Six of Pentacles, the scales were there, but those scales weren't balanced. Now the justice is there and somebody is actually working to achieve some type of balance. There is a lot of happiness with the sun. It's the happiest card of the deck. There could, you know, things are trying to create that balance. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of chemistry there. Things are definitely balancing out. Whereas over here, I mean, even if it's around cash flow, I mean, you know, this is, this is about, it's about, yeah, the judgment. Things are, are working out for some. This is a reconciliation from somebody who possibly was noncommittal, could have been younger in and out. Somebody who had options or, like I said, just needed to make up their mind. All right, Aquarius. Sorry if I confused you. I was just trying to give you both scenarios, money, and uh, love. So hopefully, hopefully it, it came across. All right, Aquarius. If this did resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading or check out those memberships, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.